go out and bake you a relationship. Hello everybody, this is Queen Lenora and today's topic is bake me a relationship. Bake me a relationship, yes. Okay, so here we go. First, don't forget to hit subscribe, like the bell button for notification, and please share it to everybody who's in a relationship, wanting to get married or married and having issues, all those things. They either, you know, some people have great marriages, still can always grow. I'm always growing in my relationship. And then some people are married and have a problem. But this right here will kind of help you even to understand people who have been married for 30, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60 years getting a divorce. This can also help with that. So let's go on this roller coaster of Bake Me a Relationship. Okay, so here we go. Bear with me because I have not been feeling good, but I am all right. No corona over here, okay? So here we go. So first thing you got to think of a relationship is we are getting to know each other and that is wonderful and we mix well when we first get into this wonderful relationship and we do everything that we need to do in this relationship. But when we've been in a relationship for a long time or getting ready to get married or being married, we kind of forget to put our relationship together like a cake. So we are baking a cake with this relationship. Now you know, you gotta understand, one of you guys are oil and the other one is water. And water and oil do not mix at all. You all know that, right? There's no, everybody knows, even if you don't cook, that water and oil do not mix. So with this theme of working together is to understand that. So once you understand that the water and the oil clashes and you have to constantly shake it or stir it or whatever. But then we have intimacy, which is so many different layers. And intimacy is the flour, baking powder, baking soda, pinch of salt, sugar, um, eggs. And then, of course, you have your water and oil to make it moist and a great cake. And then different flavors. You want to, don't forget your vanilla or your lemon, whatever you're making, whatever cake you're making, but you're making a cake and it needs these ingredients. Now, some people say, well, I use milk. Well, you can use milk. It still is not going to just blend together perfectly. But by itself, it's like this, fighting each other. And you see the oil is always floating around in the water. That's what the oil does in the water, okay? And then the water is just sitting there like, I'm not blending with you. And so you have to understand that. So when you look at it, oh my gosh, this is who we are. So in the beginning, when you first meet each other, you guys are not only shaking up, but you start adding slowly your other ingredients over here. You put your flour, your baking powder, baking soda, whatever you're using, your salt, and you mix that up. And over here, you're getting your eggs and your sugar, and then you, of course, add your water and your oil, and then you pour it your vanilla and you pour everything in there and you mix it up and then you bake it. So you're building that relationship up into this cake, okay? And then it's a wonderful cake. So you remember my tear of the fountain, right? Same thing goes with the cake. You have these layers that needs to come together. And if you don't have them come together, then it's not going to be a great cake. So you want to have that. Now again, Water and oil by itself doesn't work, but you need that intimacy to come in to play the course. It's amazing. I woke up with this and just said I had to talk to you guys about it because this is so amazing with this analogy that I'm putting together that, you know, God has put on my head. It's like, yes, girl, you can do it. And that's what I'm doing, putting this relationship together. So when you see people who are, um, like, remember when I told you before I go there, remember when I told you that people, when they get engaged, they sit there and decide not to work together and build the, the wedding together. And everybody put all these hopes and dreams in the wedding, but they're not even thinking about the marriage. And you have to always think about your marriage because the marriage is going to outlast the wedding. Yeah, you have pictures for days and you spend $10 million on this wedding. Woo! Okay, so you did that. 
But what are you doing to make sure your marriage lasts? And then you look at people whose marriage has been together for 20, 30, 40, 50, 60 years. And then they're talking about they're getting divorced. They can't take it anymore because they forgot to put the ingredients with their oil and water. So when their kids are grown, then they have this oil and water just sitting there like this. And no, they're not getting along. And no, they don't want to rework on the marriage because they're like, they start just remember, reminiscing on all the negative in that marriage. So they're not thinking about the positive anymore. They're just thinking about the negative in that relationship. So that is what a lot of stuff is. You always have to. And it's always, you hear people tell me, oh, I'm only in this relationship for the kids. You sh No, the relationship shouldn't be for, for the kids. The relationship should be because it's the relationship. And when you... Get married and you make a vow. You promise to love each other, to cherish each other, to, for better and worse, the sickness and health, till death do you part. So when one of y'all ain't dead, there shouldn't be divorce in the picture. Divorce should be off the table. And then people go, well, who wants to stay in a miserable marriage? Well, it's only miserable because two people are not working in the marriage. It has to work together. Again, oil and water are not going to be good until you mix it together with other ingredients, which is intimacy. Yes, I said it. Intimacy. So you got to get real with your relationship. And I don't care if you are been in a relationship for years and you're not married. I don't care if you married and then you just can't take it no more. You're supposed to work on it. You made a vow to all your family and friends and no and the best one you made a vow to is God. So how dare you just break a vow in the covenant? Now, don't get me wrong, I've been divorced. But again, if only one person's working on the marriage, it can't it can't work together. So if the water leaves the oil, the oil stands alone. If the oil leaves the water, the water stands alone. And that's where they are. So does that make sense to you? No. Let's get it together and understand that in our relationship, we're building a wonderful cake. And sometimes we got to build a cake every day of our life. And you have to put, combine the intimacy in there. And if you haven't watched any of my other videos, Understand intimacy is not sex, but it can make sex better. And sex is important in a relationship. I'm going to kill that notion too. Because I'm going to tell people saying sex is not important. Sex ain't, ain't important. Yes, it is. Just like communication is important. Their finances is important. Sex is important. All that is in there. There's love. There's relationship. It builds. It makes you connect. And you connect stronger and stronger. And you have to make the best cake ever. I know you guys heard of that. Better than sex cake or the million dollar cake. Those things ain't called better than sex cake and million dollars. If we ain't really putting all the ingredients together. And you can't put the ingredients together if you ain't got the dang oil and water. You put all the ingredients together, you just going to have what? Maybe some cookies. <laughs> we ain't making cookies. But you now want to make cookies. Why do you want to make cookies? Because you're too tired of making cake. Why? Because you don't want to work at it. Oh, I got to make all the decisions in the relationship. Oh, I'm always the one that got to do this. I'm doing this. This is that. We all got a reason why we don't want to be with the person no more. I'm not even arguing with you. Well. It is what it is. But does that make sense? Is that realistic? Marriage is not easy. Relationship is not easy. I don't care if you're in a relationship just with a friend. That friendship, that family ship. All that is not easy. And for us to come up in our minds and think it's easy, it's ridiculous. Making a cake from scratch, a lot of people say it ain't easy. There's a science to it. Well, you need to put the science together in your relationship. We are baking a relationship because we want a successful relationship. And to make you sure, we got to bake it every day to make sure we make it the best so nobody can top us. We don't know exactly how much we're not to put in there. Exactly the right amount of sugar, the right amount of flour, the right amount of baking soda or baking powder. Are we going to put them together and it does a chemistry effect? We might even put some cream of tartar in there. We might put other things in it to make our a splash of cinnamon. Have our cinnamon soaking with our oil and water and make it sit there for a while. And then we have our cinnamon oil water mixture goes in there that makes our cake the best. But we are constantly 
working on it to make it the best that we can. So when outside people are looking in, they go, you guys' relationship is it great. You guys got the best relationship. Yeah, because we worked on it. And we worked on it daily. We was baking cakes every day. Every day we had different new ingredient. Every day we did it. And now we got this relationship we're going where we don't even have to think about the measurements. We ain't even got to get a measuring spoon, a measuring uh, a cup. We ain't got to get nothing. We no, we just, you see them cooks? have been cooking for years. They don't even measure. But you put a little bit of this in there, put a little bit of that, and then you just put a pinch of this in there, and you do this in there, and that's how you make it. You be like this. Um, so, how many cups of, oh girl, you just pour until you know. But the reason they got, got that is because they make the recipe all the time. If you ask me how to make a banana pudding, I can tell you. Now you give me measurements, I'm, I'm looking at you funny. I just know by when I'm looking at it. I know what my consistency is. I know what I want out of it. And that's what I'm looking at. And that's what I'm telling you. Are you taking that time to look at it? Are you taking that time to move forward in your relationship? What are you doing to help bake that cake? You might have to go out and get the flour and, and get the wheat and bleach it and do whatever else to make the flour the way you want. I don't care, but I want you to work on your cake every day. And there's certain things you're going to pay attention to. Like I said, you're going to pay more attention to the flour. The flour is physical touch. Some people might, I'm just making, however you want to make your cake. Because it depends on it. Physical touch might be more of what you need. That would be your flour. That's your big base in your relationship. Some people just say communication. Trust. You tell me your secrets every day. No matter what it is. That could be your flour. Whatever you want to be your flour is your flour. Whatever you want to be your sugar is your sugar. And understand all these things work together. Flour is nasty. And have you taste bacon soda or bacon powder? And do you really want to raw egg? And some people might put the yolk in there and then whip up the whites to make it more fluffy. Whatever you want to do with your cake, you can do. This is your masterpiece. And nobody can make your cake better and it works for you and your family. Then, when the cake is all done, then put the frosting on it. And you make the frosting perfect. Those are your children. The frosting is the children. And you make it all pretty. You decorate your frosting. But that frosting ain't going to be good without the cake. I mean, we can eat it, but we ain't going to eat it as much. And if you make the perfect frosting with the perfect cake... Oh my goodness, it is so great. Because you hear people like, I don't like frosting. Then you make the frosting the way you like it. And then when you find the right consistency, the texture, the sweetness that you want, that goes over your cake. You get that? That's what the frosting is now. The cake. Now, when you're finished with the frosting on your cake, then you want to reach over. And then you might say, oh, I want to put some ice cream on it. But that's your family. Your friends, whoever the next layer of it is, that's who they are. And then you might put some sprinkles. That might be your job or something. Or you might just have a glass of cold milk with it, some wine, some champagne, some soda, whatever you want. Some people go, oh, that'll be me. But guess what? It might work together and blend to a wonderful relationship. So remember, when you're in a relationship, you want to bake, a, bake you a relationship. And if you're getting ready to get married, please understand and take divorce out. It can't be no divorce. We got to figure out how to fix this. We got to figure out how to make this cake. And it takes two to tango. And sometimes when that oil and water is separated, you're going to have to whip it up, shake it up, mix it up to make it tango. And then combine your other ingredients. And voila. The wonderful cake that you want, the flavor that you want, the taste that you want, you will have the best relationship. So go out and bake you a relationship. That's what I'm talking about. Bake you a relationship. Bake you a relationship. Bake you a relationship. I hope you love this video. Don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and the bell button. And please share this to everybody. Anybody that's in a relationship, share, share, share. And I thank you for watching the Love and Live Show. I appreciate you all. 
smooches, and remember to love and live each day as if it were your last. Because tomorrow I ain't promised, baby.